If for some reason you don't have a TV to hook up your PlayStation 4 to, or you don't have a lot of space to have it laying around your living room, one option you do have is to buy Hori's Full HD Monitor for the PlayStation 4. It sits on top of the system and supports 1080p resolution, so you can see all your games and all their great fidelity. This thing costs $300 though. Some people got it on Amazon recently for $15. Regardless of what you pay for it, let's take a look and see what it does. Hori's PlayStation 4 monitor costs $300, which is almost as much as the system itself. It's a hefty price to pay for a monitor that isn't as portable as it looks because it actually requires its own external power supply. However, it does integrate with the console extremely well. Setup is easy. Simply set the unit on top of the PlayStation 4, attach the two clamps that secure it to the system, and connect the power and HDMI cable. Thankfully, Hori included a short HDMI cable to prevent unnecessary clutter. You'll also find two headphone jacks on the back of the monitor, which may come in handy, but since every PlayStation 4 controller has its own headphone jack, you probably won't end up using these on the monitor very often. Games look crisp on Hori's monitor thanks to its high pixel density. At the default settings, the color tends to be a bit oversaturated, but this is easily fixable if you dive into the monitor's settings menu. Though it's not going to make a difference in every type of game, the monitor does have a slow response time of 25 milliseconds, well above the modern standard for gaming grade monitors, which isn't a good thing. If you're expecting great audio from this monitor, prepare to be disappointed. Sound effects and music exhibit a tiny quality, and you're far better off using the headphone jack on your controller at the end of the day. So would I pick up this monitor for $300? No way. For 15 bucks, sure, but that was a mistake on Amazon's part, and that's probably why you all heard about this monitor in the first place. That's because it's just an unremarkable piece of tech. The screen is okay, but it has really slow response time. The audio is not great. And it's also not portable. It needs its own EC adapter. So it's really hard to recommend this unless you absolutely have no option when it comes to using traditional monitors. 